is Stéphanie Solinas. I'm French. I live in Paris. And I am here at FOAM to present a new exhibition composed of two projects, Dominique Lambert and Le Pourquoi Pas. The first project that uh, we are presenting is Dominique Lambert. Dominique Lambert is a study on all the Dominique Lambert from France. Um, I wanted to define a study population uh, without knowing if it was men or women, and so I decided to use Dominique, which is the most common gender neutral name in France. And Dominique is also the 27th most common name in France for men and women, and so I associated it with Lambert, which is the 27th most common family name. I contacted the 191 Dominique Lambert from France that were in the white pages, and I asked them to fill a questionnaire, a portrait chinois, we call it in French. I decided to use the official tools to represent identity. The first step is when I gathered all the portraits chinois, all the Chinese portraits from the Dominique Lambert. Uh, un portrait chinois, in French, is a, a portrait where you describe yourself uh, using words, words that are also images. If I were a color, I would be blue. If I were an animal, I would be a dog. And then from these answers that I gathered, uh, I organized a committee uh, with some experts of identity. And the mission of this committee was to describe the Dominique Lambert based on the answers that he gave or she gave on, of the, on the portrait chinois. So the committee decided if it was men or women, what kind of hair, what kind of uh, uh, nose, uh, the color of the eyes, the age of the Dominique Lambert. Then with this text, I work with an artist who does uh, drawings and um, his mission was to transform the text, the description with words, into a drawing. For the fourth step of the project Dominique Lambert, I worked with Dominique Ledé, police inspector at Prefecture de Police de Paris. His mission was to transform the drawing into a facial composite with the tool from the police. Then, with this collection of composites, I looked for people, in reality, looking like the composite, to photograph them. And then, the last step of this chain of representation is the passport picture of the real Dominique Lambert, the Dominique Lambert who filled the uh, survey, who filled the portrait chinois, the first step of the project. The exhibition at FOAM will present Dominique Lambert using all the original material that uh, I received and that I produced during uh, the seven years that I did uh, this series. The second project is Le Pourquoi Pas. Le Pourquoi Pas is a, is a project that I, that I started, that I did in Iceland. Uh, I was invited there in 2014 for a residency and I started investigating. My hypothesis when I started these investigations in Iceland was uh, that uh, there is a link between um, the artist, the scientist, and the medium. The world of the mind, the world of the, the ideas, the world of concepts, the world of dead people. And so, uh, in Iceland, I met a lot of people, a lot of, I did a lot of interviews to, uh, uh, to try to access these realities. It was not the island of identity, but the continent of the mind that I was discovering or that I was not discovering, but touching. And so to do Le Pourquoi Pas in Iceland, it was also a way to access these invisible words uh, that are very... Um, present that are very uh, around us in Iceland because in Iceland you go to the medium as you go to the dentist for checkup. That's what everybody said. When I was in Iceland, I worked with several mediums. I remember one afternoon I spent with uh, Ragnil Durians Dotir. During two hours, we visited this park and I saw rocks and she explained me how she saw these rocks. And for her, it was not rocks at all. It was 
a palace. It was uh, a gathering place. It was a place where uh, dwarfs were making rings. Le Pourquoi Pas is the name of Jean-Baptiste Charcot's boat. Uh, Jean-Baptiste Charcot was an explorateur polaire, a polar explorator. He is the son of uh, Jean-Michel Charcot from La Salpêtrière, the first neurologist, so the first who studied uh, mind and the, the brain uh, in a scientific way. And Jean-Baptiste Charcot, he died 15 kilometers away from Reykjavik. I went to Iceland uh, with the idea of investigate this hypothesis, with the idea of investigate Icelandic identity. And what I found was much more than an island. It was just like an explorator can go to an unknown place and you find not an island, but a continent. And that's the feeling that I had going in Iceland and working with psychics and mediums and geneticists and people they, that they, they didn't see the same thing I was seeing.